Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us try to prove the Pythagoras theorem by rearrangement. So the first thing that you need to do is you make eight right angle triangles of sides A, B, C respectively. So here what do you see on the screen? There are eight right angle triangles. Each have three sides whose dimensions are A, B and C respectively. So they are all identical triangles. Now what you need to do is you take a square sheet on a cardboard. So you fix a square sheet on a cardboard and then what you do is you start picking up one of these triangles and then start putting the triangles on these this square sheet in this way. Let's say you picked up the first triangle and you placed it on the square sheet. Second one again you placed it, third one and fourth one. So in this way you have placed four triangles in this square sheet. What do you do with the remaining four? So you do a similar thing with the remaining four on a different sheet. So you take another square sheet exactly identical to the first one and now you again start placing these remaining four triangles but now you will place it in a different pattern. So somewhat like this, you place the first one, second one, third one and fourth one. So this is how you place them. So now you have placed all your triangles over two sheets of cardboard. Now please make sure that these two sheets which you have taken they are shaped in the they are in the shape of square and both of them are of equal dimension that means area of this square sheet is equal to the area of this square sheet. And also make sure that all the triangles that you had created, all the eight triangles, they are also of equal areas. So all of them should have the same dimensions A, B, C. Right? So now what we have to understand here is what have we actually done? So here we had one square sheet, right? In which we have placed four triangles. What have we done here in the second scenario? So this is the first scenario. This is our second scenario. So in the second sheet, what we have done is again the same size square sheet on which we have placed four triangles. So basically that would mean that this blue area that is the remaining area on the first sheet would be equal to the blue area in the second sheet. That's because both the sheets are of where of equal area. The square sheets are of equal area. Both of them have been occupied by four triangles each. So this here also four triangles have occupied some area. Here also four triangles have occupied some area. So the remaining area here is this blue area. The remaining here, here is the blue area. So the blue area here should be equal to the blue area here. That is very much logically true. I hope you agree with me till here. Okay, now we have to see that what is this blue area here and what is this blue area here. So for that what we do, we just name the sides because it, that's what we had drawn it like this. So every triangle has A, B, C, A, B, C and so on. So what do we see? Now if I ask you what is this blue area, can you find out this blue area? So what would be the area of this blue region? This is basically a square whose all sides are equal. Each side is equal to C. So the area would be side into side that is C into C which is C square. What would be this blue area? So when you look at this particular blue area, here also all sides are equal. B, B, B and B. This is also going to be B because you see these lines are parallel. So the area of this blue region again would be B into B that is B square. What about the area of this particular region? This is again going to be side into side which is A into A that is A square. So that basically means that the area of the blue region here would be equal to c square and the area of the blue region here would be a square plus b square because this area plus this area and as per our logic this blue area should be equal to this blue area that means c square should be equal to a square plus b square and this is exactly what Pythagoras theorem is. Right? So basically we have proved that c square which is nothing but the hypotenuse square is equal to the square of the other two legs.
So that's the Pythagoras theorem. So you see this is a very simple rearrangement experiment which I believe you can do it on your own. So all you need is few sheets of paper, draw identical eight right angle triangles. Okay, and then you take two sheets of cardboard and start placing the triangles in this particular pattern and you will prove it for yourself that C square is equal to A square plus B square. Now many a times people find it very complicated when you read it in a textbook or when you see it in some animation it might uh, appear to be you know kind of very difficult and confusing but actually it is not it is pretty simple. All you need is eight identical right angle triangle and two sh square sheets that's it. So this is how we have proved the Pythagoras theorem. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.